Windows 11 is good at detecting your display size and resolution to set up the scaling appropriately using the automatic default video drivers. With the correct display scaling, all the elements on your screen like text, menus, images, application windows, text fields, etc. appear in the correct size and without being blurred. You don't have to touch the display scaling settings for the most part. However, if you think the display elements are too small or big, you can change the display scaling in Windows 11 to fix it. Display scaling is all about configuring the size of the screen elements to make it easier for you to read and see what's on the screen. For example, Windows 11 might sometimes set low display scaling on high resolution monitors. In that case, all the elements on the screen will appear small and out of place. Change display scale with the predefined sizes. Click on Start and click on Settings. In the System tab, click on Display or right click on the desktop and select Display Settings. In the Scale and Layout section, click on the drop down next to Scale. Select a predefined scaling option from the Scaling drop down menu. You cannot set scaling lower than 100%. The higher value depends on your monitor size and resolution. Once you select a scaling option, Windows 11 will change the scaling instantly. All the elements will increase or decrease based on scaling percentage. Some applications might need a restart to work correctly. If you see blurry elements on the screen, reboot the computer. To reset it back to recommended, click on the recommended percentage for your screen. Set custom display scaling. If you are unsatisfied with the limited percentage on the scale drop down, you can set a custom display scaling in Windows settings. For example, if you want to set the scale anywhere between 110% and 125, say 110%, you can do that using the custom scaling option. Windows 11 will apply that scaling to all connected displays when setting a custom scaling. In the display settings, select the scale option under scale and layout instead of expanding the drop down. Enter a scaling value between 100 and 500 in the custom scaling field. For example, you can set 110% as the custom display scaling. Though Windows lets you set any value between 100 and 500, it is recommended you don't enter anything higher than 200. Doing so might make the on-screen elements too big and unreadable. Click on the check mark button. Click on the sign out now button to apply the change. This will restart your computer and the custom size will be applied after you log into the windows. Setting a custom value can make text and other items difficult to see on the screen. Also, if you have a multi-monitor setup, each display will reflect the custom change. It's a trial and error process, but you can go back to the custom scaling section and increase or decrease the value until it looks right. Once you have used the custom scaling size, the scale dropdown is grayed out, meaning you can no longer choose a default setting. You can revert the changes. Under scale and layout, you will see a turn off custom scaling and sign out option. Click on it, log into Windows, and open display settings, the display scale automatically sets to the recommended setting. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.